Welcome to the Boston Flower and Garden Show. We're at the Seaport World Trade Center where the flower show is on March 22nd to the 26th. I'm Kathy McDonald with Massachusetts Horticultural Society and at the flower show we run all the amateur competitions. What that means uh, is people who care for their plants every year enter amateur horticulture to uh, display their plants and win ribbons for the best care and the best horticulture. We also have two design divisions, one run by Garden Club Federation of Massachusetts and one run by Massachusetts Horticultural Society, which are located in the conference center at the back of the exhibit hall. Additionally, we have the uh, photography competition, which is in the conference hall, and also Ikebana, which is a display of their craft. Mass Hort's garden this year is about school gardens, really to show families and teachers and kids what fun a school garden could be. We have raised beds with vegetables. We have pollinator beds. We have a display of uh, ladybugs to show you how they can take care of your pests in the garden by eating them. And uh, lots of good activities that people can do at the flower show and think about back at Elm Bank or with the plant mobile to visit their school. We're at Vermont Nature Creations is my company name. We handcraft these in Vermont. Hanging water gardens are basically a small hydroponic system. So we're growing plant cuttings in spring water. Spring water provides the minerals for the plants. And uh, we have things like spider plants. This is a goldfish plant. English ivy is one of our favorite plants to grow because it wraps around the frame of the design. But my wife and I make them all. We do stained glass styles. We do uh, everything's copper. Lots of colored glass, like to add a lot of color. Most people hang these in a kitchen window, so you've got a pop of color and some live plants in a low maintenance way of growing things. I do all the welding, and my wife does the stained glass. So the stained glass designs, she hand cuts that glass, and we solder and weld all those together. The vase itself is uh, uh, that's made for us in Kokomo, Indiana, of all places. The website is vermontnaturecreations.com or hangingwatergardens.com. Easy to find. We ship everything with live plants. Um, so today we have hand-blown glass flowers, um, and we also brought samples of the flowers that have um, ashes from a loved one or a pet um, as a memorial product. And then we have our businesses taking um, flowers like from a funeral or a wedding or even a backyard and turning them into rosaries or different keepsakes. We take the flower and we dry it out and we grind it down to a powder and then we put it through a process that allows us to roll each bead by hand. We're sharing the booth because a lot of people ask us if we can work with ashes and we can't particularly in those type of products but he can use them in his um, glass work. So. As a memorial. Yes, yes, yes. So we grow all of these inside in our warehouse. Um, they're all culinary mushrooms and delicious and edible. Um, we have lion's mane here. This is chestnut, oyster, and shiitake. And they're all grown. So in each one of the bags, this white stuff right here is the uh, living mycelium. And it's eating away at the sawdust that's in the bag. And once it's fully colonized and developed, it's ready to fruit out. And so each of these bags is ready to fruit. And all I have to do is just cut a little slit in each of the bags, and the mushrooms will fruit out of that. And you'll start to see fruiting in about a week, and it'll continue to fruit for two months after that. And you just pluck them and eat them, and they'll fruit right out of the hole that you plucked them from, yeah.